So today's property tour is a brand new construction home in the heart of Chicago's Logan Square. home is gorgeous it has a lot of really cool features like awesome ceiling height gorgeous finishes and just overall uh, functional floor plan that I think any buyer will appreciate and it also sits on an oversized lot which means that it has a lot more outdoor space or backyard space than most properties in Chicago this home is built by MK construction which is a premier builder here in Chicago and it's listed by a compass broker who is also a good buddy of mine Mike Lefevre so big shout out to Mike and a huge thank you for letting me tour his awesome listing. Welcome to 2046 North Whipple Street in Logan Square. This home has five bedrooms, three bathrooms, one half bath, 3,200 square feet of interior living space, listed for $1,399,000. Let's talk about the facade of the property. So you have this brick facing that looks stunning and this is a, a distressed brick that has kind of a lot of character. It's not super polished, but it works really, really well. I really love the center window here, which is composed of three panels. It floods the main level with a lot of natural light. It looks beautiful. And notice you have two sconces at the top, which again, light up this facade at night. Um, something a little bit different, something a little bit unique that I really, really appreciate about, um, about the front of this property. Now let's go inside and tour this home. All right guys, I'm really excited to show you this property. And by the way, before we start the tour, I have to talk about this door. Giant in size, extremely heavy, and it creates an instant good first impression because you can tell that everything in this home is going to be really well crafted. So on the main level, you have your sitting room, you have a dining room, you have a beautiful kitchen. So why don't we start in the front of the house? So one of the coolest features of the main level are these 14 foot ceilings, right? This is not something you see in most homes. The ceiling height is abnormal and it's truly impressive. And one of the reasons is because they were able to, uh, you know, upzone it. The other thing you notice is this giant wall of windows flooding this main level, which is absolutely stunning. It's architecturally beautiful. And if you look at it, you know, there's obviously three panels of windows. Well, there's actually more. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine panels, technically. And as you're sitting here in the living room, I'm sorry, in the, in the sitting room, you can see the beautiful blue sky and all the trees outside your house. And that's one of the things that is what's so kind of charming about this property. It's not just the modern vibe. It's not just the cool facade. It's just the way it's set and how it looks in the front. This wall is beautiful. It's done with these moldings and painted in this uh, really cool shade of gray. And it actually draws your eye all the way to the ceiling. Again, accentuating the ceiling height. Love the fireplace, very elegant, very clean. And the way you turn it on is just with a flip of a switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now it's going. So about five or six seconds. I'm gonna turn it off because it is a hot day. Anyways, great space, beautiful feature wall. Now let's check out the dining room. This is your place for your dining room table. And notice there are no light fixtures over it. A lot of times, like the light fixture kind of dictates where the table goes. Here, everything is very sleek, very modern. Obviously, if you wanted to drop a chandelier, you can certainly do that. Um, but I love the versatility of the space. I love the fact that you, you can have a dining room here, but I also love the fact that you have these really sleek can lights throughout. Again, tall ceilings, Everything is very sleek, very modern, very clean, and I love that everything's painted in white. It's like the most perfect shade of white. White oak floors are absolutely stunning. These are a little bit wider than your standard uh, two and a quarter inch. The amount of wall space in this home where you can feature art is impressive. And you basically have these 14 foot tall walls where you can have any size artwork.
this kitchen is to die for. So a couple things that I love about it. Um, well, I should say a couple things that really stand out that I appreciate about it. The island, beautiful. Waterfall counters, the cabinets are done in this warm wood and they really warm up the place. As, and you know, the rest of the cabinets are actually done in white. Subtle veins, very clean, and you have these modern farmhouse pendants that are suspended from the ceiling. They look very, very cool, very unassuming, very kind of, very chill, not trying too hard, you know? Very like, very cool vibe. Nice refrigerator. Here's your Thermador uh, six burner range. This is a top of the line Thermador unit. It's gorgeous. I like that they did the backsplash in this matte white color with white grout lines. It's very clean. Again, guys, everything is so light. It's, it's almost really bright as you walk through the home between the white oak floors and the light color palette. It just feels very happy, you know? And that's what you want in a home. Natural light, bright colors or no colors <laughs> and just a really, really nice, happy vibe. I should mention that the microwave is built into the island. I love those kinds of units. They're tucked away, they're very convenient. You have a dishwasher here. The rest of the kitchen is awesome. Great counter space. You have your wine refrigerator here and you have the open shelving kind of setup here that looks clean and notice the LEDs. And guys, this is perfect to keep your maybe glassware, maybe add a pop color, maybe have some plants. Uh, or some accessories or some maybe cooking books I think would work really well over here. Very clean, very open and very functional, right? You can be cooking, you can be entertaining. And again, this is a gourmet chef's kitchen. So if you love to cook, you're gonna really appreciate this appliance package and overall functionality of this beautiful kitchen. What are you still doing in the kitchen? Come up here. Very lovely feature of the home. Most homes don't have this, right? You have your family area, you have Kind of different areas of the home that are usually split between like the main level or the lower level the basement or the bedroom level but having this mezzanine of this lofted space it's very cool it's perfect for a an office it could be like a little productivity space it could be a library notice you have a tv here it's very spacious you can actually fit a small sectional and um, you can basically just kind of lounge around right it's also a perfect space for maybe a kid's room, right? Not a kid's room, like a kid's play area. So when the parents are cooking, they can be watching the kids from the main level, easily accessible. And of course, it's so close, you can actually communicate easily. Nice natural light, just a really great space. Now we're heading upstairs to check out the bedrooms. Follow me. On this level, you have three bedrooms, including your master. And then this staircase right here takes you all the way up to the rooftop, which we'll show you in a, bit, in a little bit. Why don't we see the master first? Here's your master, great size, good closet space, incredible natural light. Again, it doesn't have the most massive, the most, <laughs> the biggest windows, right? Uh, but it is, you know, positioned in the corner and you have natural light flooding the room from every direction. Okay, just two directions, but it feels like it's every direction, but it has a killer master bathroom. Beautiful floating double vanity. Again, wood finish, very clean, warms up this, this uh, master bathroom. Gorgeous counter, lots of counter space. Heated floors, of course, there's a controller right there, and then this giant mirror with these beautiful light fixtures over it. And you actually have a window in this ba uh, master bathroom as well, which I really, really appreciate. And the best part of it is this right here. Follow me. This is my kind of... <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know what you call it. This is a... This is a shower, tub, combination, right? This is an oversized shower. It's like the size of a small bedroom. So let's talk about what we have here, right? We have a deep soaking tub. 
which is awesome. It's got this nice faucet off the wall. You know, it's very comfortable. It's a good sized tub. You could be soaking in this tub. Natural light coming in. You have two rainfall shower heads that are pretty awesome because two people can be showering at the same time. These are actually body jets. And on top of that, it's actually a steam shower. Right here is your dis uh, digital display. And I'm setting it to 110 degrees. 114, 113, 120. So I just set it to the, to the maximum temperature. Let's see how long it takes to fog up. All right guys, so we are on a time constraint, so we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be steaming right now, but it's a really great steam shower that we will test out another day. And down the hall, you have two bedrooms, laundry room, and you have another bat bathroom that services the other two bedrooms. Very clean. This one also has a soaking tub, nice ledge. Everything is light, right? Just like the rest of the home. And then you have this gorgeous vanity with, you know, lots of storage and um, just a really nice clean look. You know, this would actually be a good place to talk about floors. Again, the white oak floors. You could see how, you know, beautiful it looks and how it's installed. I mean, it is a brand new house, so it is gonna look pretty flawless, but I mean, I've seen some new construction homes that are not flawless, right? And this one is flawless, so it looks really clean. Guys, two bedrooms, they're not currently staged, but real quick, give you an idea of the size. This is bedroom two with good closet space and good natural light. Here is the third bedroom. And this one actually faces the street. Treetop view, excellent natural light, and the same architecturally beautiful detail with the windows, right? You have this oversized custom window in the center, and then you have two more windows on each side. Again, flood this, this room with so much natural light. It's amazing. And this is my kind of laundry room for a couple of reasons. One, it has a full-size washer and dryer, which is a must. It's got a window, you know, it's great and it's got this folding station this is where you can have some shelving units keep your laundry detergent and whatever else and you could fold your clothes here you can even have a rack you could hang your clothes I mean you know you can even open the window and air dry your clothes you know if this is if you're into that stuff I've been doing that lately it's crazy <laughs> just started doing it if you want to keep your clothes for longer periods of time and not throw them away after three four washes you gotta air dry them and hand wash them. All right, and here's your private rooftop. And guys, this is wonderful, right? You have two areas where you could hang out, one on the front, one on the back. It's very private. It's perfect. I mean, let me know what you guys would use this rooftop for. Lounging, maybe hang a hammock, maybe have a little fire pit, put, it, put up a TV, a green putty. Maybe a pickleball court. Could you fit a pickleball court over here? <laughs> I just took up pickleball and it is the best game ever. I love pickleball, it's my new favorite sport. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of space. I think it's awesome. In the front of the rooftop, you actually see the skyline of the city of Chicago, which is beautiful. Again, it's a very clear shot. We'll uh, drop some drone footage and show you guys what it actually looks like, but this is beautiful. The other thing to mention about this property is that this is actually one of the tallest single family homes in this entire area because of the zoning that this property has, right? The developer was able to, uh, to build it to this height. And I think it's amazing, right? Because you're clearing all the buildings, you have the best views, and you feel like you are on top of the world. <laughs> At least in this neighborhood, right? You are one of the tallest buildings in this neighborhood, which is pretty cool. All right, one more area to see, which is the basement, and it's right downstairs. And on the way to the ba basement, <laughs> we have this mudroom. I think it's awesome. It's done in this beautiful tile that kind of imitates concrete. Here you have your cubbies. When you park your car, you enter the home, you could hang your coats here, put your shoes, bags, kids' backpacks, uh, pickleball rackets. This is a great place for it. You actually have an oversized storage closet right over here. 
Again, very convenient. It's close to the kitchen. It's close to the basement, right? This is absolutely awesome. And then right this way is your potter room. It's awesome, right? It services your main level. Now let's see the basement. So on the main level, you have 14 foot ceilings. On the basement level, you have 10 foot ceilings, which is still very dramatic and very impressive. So here is your back bedroom. Again, not much in here right now, but it's a good sized bedroom. Could be an office, could be a gym. You've got a full bathroom here with an oversized shower. Beautiful, love it. This home has the most ridiculous amount of storage. Every nook is utilized so well. I mean, look at this. It's narrow, but it's really long and it's really tall. Great storage. Another storage right over here. Like if you have a lot of stuff, you wanna live in this house. <laughs> Here's the second bedroom, follow me. Again, between the size of it and the ceiling height, it feels absolutely massive. You have your mechanicals, you have more storage, and this lower level is the perfect space for your recreation space. You can make it a movie theater, you can play games here, you can hang out with friends or family. This room is also wired for a projector screen. So you can have a giant, like 100, 110 inch projector screen and you know, kick back and watch the game or catch up on your favorite movies. All right guys, and it's time to see your backyard. And I'm gonna put my shades on because the sun is absolutely insane right now in Chicago this whole week. Um, so this is your private deck. Um, I love it because it's in really close proximity to your kitchen. If you want to put a grill up over here and uh, throw some burgers or brats or, you know, make dinner pretty much any time of year, right? It doesn't have, just doesn't have to be the summertime. You can put a couple of heat lamps here when the weather gets, you know, cold. Uh, I love it. And of course you have Trax decking here, which is virtually maintenance free. So this property sits on a 25 by 150 uh, foot long lot which is significantly longer than your standard city of Chicago lots, uh, allowing for this much green space. So if you have pets, if you have kids, if you are, you know, if you're into gardening, if you want to have as much backyard space as some of the houses in the suburbs, this may be the house for you. And right this way is your garage. And it's an oversized garage. <laughs> It's a, an oversized garage for two cars with plenty of storage and it's brand new. It's a brand new garage. This house has never been lived in. It is brand spanking new. If this backyard and your private rooftop is not enough outdoor space for you, well, you can build a deck over the garage. What an amazing house. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Drop me a comment and text Whipple to the number on the screen to schedule a private showing and I'll get you in. And that's it guys, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more beautiful homes. And with that, I will catch you guys on the next one.